everything you buy you must post everything you buy you must share so hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel you are seen by the title today's video is on the power of silence your favorite series on this channel if you're new this is the first video you're watching of mine i have a series on the channel called the power of silence where i dive into why you should live a private life how you can live a private life and the things that i in my humble opinion think you should share and shouldn't share and who you should share with type thing now this particular part of the series is things you should keep private and i think this is like the sixth or seventh part of this video i'm going to share an additional five things that i think you should keep private also i'm going to have all the videos on this series linked in the description box below i highly recommend that you follow through if you haven't followed or you haven't watched all the parts of this video now let's jump right into this video okay usually when i start this videos, i talk about why you should live a private life like why it's important you want to keep some certain things to your Yourself so you'll have a better experience with life 90 to 98 percent of your life should be private in my opinion you're able to get a full picture think properly mentally arrange or aware when you show up about so many things in your life and figure it out the right way actually and this doesn't mean that you don't share things because i know in previous comments people talk about oh yeah but i should share because i don't know yes we're humans right we need people's opinions we sought out for help we need to talk to people about doubts concerns and certain areas of our lives because everyone is learning everyone is leaving experiences the best teacher a lot of people might have gone through what you're going through and it's always good to share i understand that i get that we're humans we always need to talk and express ourselves so we're heard and we learn i get that it just depends what you're sharing and who you're sharing it with there are more appropriate solutions to your problems than just sharing it with anyone who cares to listen if you have certain concerns and certain problems there are certain people designated for that concern and that problem that could help you better your colleague your friend from down the street your neighbor none of them can help you it will not be beneficial to you to just share to anyone that cares to listen or anyone who is available there are certain people that call for certain information there are certain people that just need to be left out from your business completely and there are certain things that you don't even need to bring people in and you can figure out yourself you have that power and knowledge in you you just need to utilize it to the best of your knowledge and capability okay now again before we get into the things that i think you should keep private being private and being secretive are two Two different things okay you say you're in a relationship and no one knows the details of that relationship and you lying that you're not in a relationship are two different things the first thing that i think that you should keep private is body count now when it comes to this particular topic i have seen so many angles of it on the internet now we're going to talk about the private part of it if it's okay to share body counts with friends family spouse all that kind of stuff and i'm going to talk about the social media part of it in fact let's start with the social media part of it because that's quite simple and straight to the point please on no occasion no account no circumstance no instance is it okay to share share your body count with anybody on the internet i don't care if it's for educational purposes because i've talked about sexual experiences or sex life before in other videos and i've told you guys how i feel about discussing about sex on the internet i've told you guys that sometimes it could be education and certain details that could be useful to the next person there is no reason why you should talk about details about your sex life with anybody body count is included it is included in the aspect of not sharing your sex life i don't want to know what you like who you like it with what you have done how many people you have done i don't care if we move over to the personal life aspect of it where is it okay to share your body count with your friends your family your spouse whoever it is now this is my opinion and i will stand on it absolutely not and again i understand that with your closest friends like your best friends there are certain conversations like kinky spicy conversations that come up and you just talk about your experience and all that kind of stuff but i cannot ever recall a time where i have had that type of conversation with a close friend and they would tell me or will ask each other what's your body like why of what importance is that information to me it's not important to me in any way so let's scrap it family members this one is even disgusting to have this conversation why are we having body count conversations with our family members that's just completely gross the most important aspect is people asking if you should share body count with your partner and i say no because it is definitely not important to anybody 
people's body count it's not important but there are certain situations there are certain occasions there are certain circumstances that happen where this type of topic come up again i don't see how or when or why it should come up because i feel like if anybody would ask me what my body count is i would automatically be seeing red flags up and down because how is that an important conversation there are certain times where questions like how many exes have you had will come up but honestly it's usually not a direct question it just comes up where something just leads to something and then that kind of has to be said you know and it's casually it's not like they are directly asking what your body count is or how many people you did it or those are i feel childish questions to ask anybody who you've had relations with in the past generally doesn't matter to who you're dealing with at the moment in my opinion honestly it just doesn't except there are certain circumstances where they have to know so i'm going to give an example like whoever you've dealt with in the past or the recent person you dealt with or two people before that is someone that they know just to have them in the know you let them know that piece of information but it's not like you're telling them just because it matters whether you guys progress or not do you get what i mean and then there are some social media content creators that make videos like you know how they go around asking people questions on the street and then people actually answer that's very tacky now the second thing that i think you should keep private is material purchases now i have different aspects i'm trying to be lenient when it comes to these things as human beings especially as influencers there are certain things that you buy material things that you buy obviously and you just want to do an unboxing or like share i'll be honest with you if the thing doesn't directly have like an impact on my channel so if it's not part of my niche i wouldn't share except let's say i've been looking for this limited edition something i don't know what right maybe it could be bag or maybe shoes and then i finally find it i'll be so happy to share and i'm sharing out of excitement that oh my god i finally found this right and i'll also give backstory but regularly unprovoked everything you buy you must post everything you buy you must share there are people that share on social media there are also people that share in person with other people like oh my god do you know i just picked up this do you know i just bought this and then granted there are certain things i share with my friends let's say i got this new setting powder and i'll be like oh my god like i just bought a setting powder it's so nice or i just bought a setting powder and i thought it was going to be this but it's not this do you get what i mean i don't have a problem if that's your content that's your niche that's why i said i'm trying to be lenient making noise about the things that you buy honestly i just feel it's not necessary one of the main reasons why i strongly advise against sharing material purchases is because people can be funny they always want to gauge what you're worth is or what your pocket looks like or what your bank account looks like just because you bought this and you're able to afford this or they look at you from a particular lens that oh you have this you could afford this you are this when realistically you aren't just to avoid those type of assumptions about you and what your life is about or what your finances is about what you can afford what you can't afford i'll just say please keep those things to yourself okay keep your material purchases to yourself because you could justify it you know the backstory to every purchase you make right but they don't they just know that you are able to buy this or you're able to afford this human beings are really funny okay you could be sharing a happy thing in your life and they are thinking about it in 200 different negative ways in their head and they are spoiling it for you and then tomorrow there are situations where you could come and you'll be like oh i'm broke or i don't have money or you know what i'm going through a tough time now financially and they'll be looking at you like didn't you just buy this aren't you able to afford this like if you knew that you didn't have it then why people are judgmental okay that's like the major thing i'm trying to say people are so judgmental especially when it comes to your own money and your own pocket right people will always have something to say they will always want to justify why you spent your money the way you spent your money for you on your behalf which is so creepy to me so the best thing to do sis keep quiet about it okay it doesn't matter who it is i mean like i said in this video if somebody sees something they like on you you can share that okay yeah this is where i got it from you don't have to lie but once you start to come to people and give them updates that they did not ask for it's when it comes to material things that you bought sis trust me you don't want the assumptions you don't want people gauging your pocket and weighing your pocket and all that stuff sometimes it could also be subtle bragging not everybody has the intention to brag but it just gives desperate it gives oh my god like i haven't seen this type of thing before or this type of things don't usually happen to me and it's happening to me right now i can't believe it's happening to me type thing aside from subtle bragging and all that it could also hinder your blessing and some people don't really understand where people talk about evil eye or people talk about like 
people with bad intentions looking at your stuff and plotting against you from afar all that kind of stuff you don't really know who's watching you don't really know this person you're telling this stuff you don't know if they have your best interest at heart you don't know what they are thinking you don't know anything but you are telling them all these things that you're able to afford recently all these things that you're able to buy all these things that have happened to you recently like i always tell people you don't know who is spoiling your progress and your success just by their thoughts only it's the same thing as you know sharing your successes and improvements in your life they are actually good things that are happening to you and not everybody should have that access to know these things sharing all these things whether you like it or not are part of the reasons why people end up in trouble people fail people don't do well at some certain points people just see things turning into shreds in their life it's because of these things the small things that you think don't matter the sharing that bag or that house or that car are affecting some areas in your life because people are literally looking at you with the evil eye third thing that i think you should keep private is your past mistakes this is very important which should have actually been number one in this video if you have ruled it as a mistake you have learned the lesson from it why you keep speaking about it one reason why you should stop doing this today is for you personally to be able to move on and grow from that mistake and two for people to not hold it over your head human beings will always be human beings i don't see any reason why i need to talk about my past mistakes especially in detail with anybody i have learned the mistake from it i have grown and be better person let's keep it pushing human beings are naturally not as open-minded as you are or you expect them to be going around talking about your past Past mistakes how you were downplayed how how you downplayed yourself or what you did how you did it all that kind of stuff it is not important for your growth and for the thought of the person that you're having that conversation with now there are certain people that you could have this conversation about past mistakes which i still don't see the reason why because there are mistakes and i don't see any reason except you're making reference to the same situation or a similar situation that you know is in the person's life and you're trying to explain to them how you overcame that situation in your life and it was a mistake from your end or you're trying to soothe them you're trying to calm them if they're going through a similar situation and then you could also let them know that they are human you also made the same mistake at some point in your life except in that situation which to be honest with you even in that situation i still wouldn't share i could breeze through and say i have made a similar mistake but i'm not going to give details that's my private life my mistakes are my mistakes they are for me to grow they are for me to learn they are for me to take away and make better my life who are not as forgiving as you expect them to be or you want them to be or people are not as forgiving as you are as a person so you telling them your past mistakes best believe people will judge you and the most annoying and depressing and hurtful thing is they begin to look at you just because you told them a mistake that happened years ago they label you with that mistake they look at you with that mistake whenever they see you from that point on like the from the point you told them about that mistake or those mistakes you made in the past they make that your identity something that you've healed from something that you have gone past something that you have grown from. they will continue to label you as such as the girl that made that mistake as the girl that is capable of making those mistakes that is the reason why i keep saying close your mouth about your weaknesses your flaws your incompetence all these things that you know you're working on in private about yourself because people will not understand your growth your journey your path they will not even understand that these are things that you're self-aware about and you're working on these are things that actually shape the person that you are right now and it's no longer you they don't care they will judge you and that will stick on your forehead for the rest of you know your life you know to them in their eyes and then that also determines how they follow on with you from that point. they don't consider that that is your past they don't consider that the old you they don't consider that i've said this before the person that you're telling about your past mistakes you can think that you trust them in your head or you you think they have some type of loyalty to you people like gist and entertainment people like to kiki i've always said this about friendships right people have friends for different reasons and sometimes they might not admit that they have friends for specific things a lot of us actually fall into that category so you might be a close friend to them but you're not really that close friend to them where they like like to kiki and talk about some certain things and you've literally given them a topic to talk about which is your past your mistakes and then you think you're telling one person next thing your mistakes your flaws you're continuously being rem reminded by it by a bunch of other people 
keep your mistakes to yourself you know that is a mistake and that is good that's self-awareness you've worked on it and you're even able to share it comfortably without even flinching and even if you even flinch safe and you've not grown or healed from it it is still yours to keep privately leave people out of it the internet is not even a discussion because if i'm telling you to leave your close people out of it and even your spouse your partner leave them out of your past mistake you are no longer that person concentrate on the person that you are right now that's who matters that's who they should see that's who they should concentrate on if they are not able to spot out the past mistake that you made in your previous life in your current life then it doesn't matter you can always acknowledge something talk about something address something without going into detail about that thing you need to learn how to answer questions you need to learn how to have conversations with people having a conversation with people doesn't mean that you wouldn't touch on topics it doesn't mean that you wouldn't answer questions it just means that you would answer it in a way that you still have a lot of information reserved you don't need context they don't need context fourth thing that i think you should keep private is your career opportunities your career changes or the decisions you make with your career like i've said in many 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 videos anything that's at the early stage anything that you're thinking your opinion it is not fact it is not it has not come to life it hasn't even matured it hasn't even begun keep it in your head i put this in here because people had conversations in my comment section about if you're looking for a job you need to talk to people about it because i spoke about you know not sharing your goals with people right so they said if your goal is to look for a new job you need to talk to people about it there's difference between talking to somebody about something thing and sharing details about the thing i'm gonna repeat myself again your career opportunities are the most private intricate part of your life i'm not going to sit here and start spraying every career opportunity that i get with anyone even my friends anything that has not formed anything at its earlier stage is very fragile and can just end abruptly i have experienced this and i've heard so many people say this when they talk about something it just never goes well when you share things it just begins to misbehave when it comes to career opportunities when it comes to your job what you want to do for work to generate income in your life i tell you right now if you've not heard this before listen to me nobody can make that decision for you nobody can tell you what career path that you should embark on it is solely on you and the only way you can sit and figure that out is if you're quiet about it if you sit down think about the things you like you truly like you're truly passionate about the things that make you happy the kind of job that makes you happy the kind of things that you're skilled at it is a personal journey it's a personal goal it's a personal race all you can do is seek advice from people in that choice of career that you've already made up your mind to get into you can look for people that are already skilled there to give you certain advice on that and even with that i can talk to somebody that is in a field that i feel like i want to get into and ask them specific details that is lacking from my research it is okay to get opinions when you're in doubt it is okay to talk to people that are skilled in certain areas where you actually need help not everybody and to be honest with you whilst you can actually have conversations about your career with your friends because i personally do in fact that is the most valuable part of your friendship it should be one of the top things that you guys discuss on a daily so if you have friends that you guys don't discuss about how to advance and grow yourself investment career opportunities and all that kind of stuff then please drop them because they're not good friends in your life because these conversations i have with my friends but there are certain things that I talk about when it comes to career with my friends i'm not going to drop every career opportunity when i've not even had it thought about it. but i always make sure that it's at a certain point not when it is entering i'm dishing out it's entering i'm dishing yes out. when you're in doubt it's okay to call it a close friend and honestly i recommend either you're talking to your family member somebody in your family that you know has that intellect or maturity or understanding of what you're going through at that very point in your life career wise or you have a friend that is in the similar field as you as well or in a similar corporate world if they're in the corporate world at all if that makes sense so you look for someone who has similarities with you career wise it's not all your friends that should have access and information on what your career looks like or what your professional journey looks like or what your decisions are or what your plans are or what your goals are with your career that's where your money comes from and if we've already had this conversation and established from the first part of this power of silence video that your finances are private to you how you make those finances are also private everyone can know you have a job you do 
this is what you do people can on the surface level know that oh you are a recruiter or you're a doctor or you're a pharmacist or you're a lawyer but like the career decisions you make within that that is none of their business okay that's between you and your father in heaven you and god sit down and discuss it because truly truly he's the only one that can actually help you through that you have to sit down and talk to god and ask him god tell me my purpose in life tell me why i was created tell me my capabilities open my eyes and show me what my journey should look like what my path should look like what i should put in my energy what do you think is best for me lord even if you can have advisors that are in that field that you're trying to gain knowledge okay they don't know it all and they might not be able to direct you the way that god would in fact they would they cannot direct you and give you that sense of clarity than god would so talk to god sis don't talk to everybody else now my fifth point is the argument fight that you have with your partner i've spoken about relationship status i've spoken about arguments and fight that you have with other people friends and family i realized that i didn't talk about the arguments and the fight that you have with your partner i didn't talk about this because i just felt like it was common knowledge i felt like everybody knew this but let me explain some certain things to you guys that you may or may not know but you know let's have this conversation now the fight that you have with your partner the reason why i say this to be private between both of you is because of people's opinions we are clear on that people's opinions about your relationship very very crucial now another reason is because people are not as forgiving and open-minded as you are i mentioned it when i said we are not talking about our past mistakes right i said a little bit about this people are not as forgiven and do not forget as quickly as you do especially when it comes to your partner so your friends your family whoever you're discussing with you're explaining to them all the terrible things because whether you like it or not when you're explaining to your people about the arguments you have with your partner you're saying it in a way that you're rationalizing it in your head it's you in favor at that time they are completely the bad guy or the bad girl you're telling them all these bad things they feel your pain they love you which to be honest with you i understand them which is why you need to be careful they love you they feel your pain they get angry towards him or her that never completely dies in fact that never dies they see him differently the picture you have painted of your spouse the picture you've painted of your boyfriend your girlfriend sticks in their head whether you come tomorrow and tell them oh my god we're good now he did it, it still sticks in their head and i'm not here to tell you that you cannot share certain situations that you need advice for with one person or or two people you can do that your close people you can you know share details i would usually advise to do that when you know that it's absolutely necessary one and then two when you know that it's a delicate situation that actually requires an impute just to know if you're handling it correctly with one person or two family members absolutely not i don't know how you're going to take it but family members completely off limits like honestly i'm not sharing those details with family member except my life my health my mental is on the line and i need help those are situations where i would scream to the world anybody that needs to hear would hear but if you know deep down that it's just an argument a petty argument at that why are you sharing it with people people need to learn that their relationship should be private and not a secret and when i say private this is what i mean by the aspect of private so when you have arguments with your spouse it stays inside the house when you step outside it's a completely new slate when you come back in you can continue and this is how i've always lived by one important statement that i would like to make which i feel like has been on my mind when it comes to these videos but i have not shared because i read the comments again and i see a lot of people that don't necessarily agree with the power of silence or silence in general being silent doesn't mean that you have to suffer in silence i'm going to say this as many times that needs to be said being silent like i've said doesn't mean you lock yourself in your house and isolate from the world it just means that you are conscious mentally about who you let in how you let in why you let in so that's pretty much everything that i have for you guys in this video i hope you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comment section as usual thank you guys so 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 much follow me on my socials instagram is linked in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job and you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey so